don't. I am always very negative. <laughs> I will try to be not as negative as I usually am, not to spoil this uh, festivity today. We have now the third edition of this award. The first one was about mental disorders and drug misuse. And I said to myself at the time, but every child already know that somebody who has a mental disorder has nothing to do with the justice system, it has to be in the hands of medics. And I thought also the same problem we have with drug addicts. Drug addicts, what do they have to do with uh, the justice system? They should go direction medical assistance. After quite a lot of uh, missions in quite a lot of countries, I understood that this is not clear at all and why it was so necessary to have this first edition. In the second edition, we have had uh, justice for children in a divided world. Criminality or social exclusion? Do we have a divided world? We have rich children and we have poor children and their access to justice and their assistance from the justice system is certainly not the same. We have uh, children with, uh, in countries where religions are dealing with uh, children in conflict with the law. And there again, we do not have the same system all over. We have religions uh, which pardon and we have religions uh, which like uh, not to pardon but rather to punish. We have uh, children in peacetime and we have child soldiers and children affected by war. We have uh, uh, understanding and we have stigmatizing. So we really, I think, have to speak about a di divided world in our little and not so little field. And therefore, the second uh, uh, issue uh, uh, edition was important. And now we are the third one. Make the deprivation of children's liberty a, lost, a last resort towards evidence-based policies and alternative. Evidence-based, I underline, evidence-based. Why? Because, once again, we have to deal in, with a situation where quite a lot of people still think that to punish children is their right, and some of them think that it's the right and their duty. And uh, we should see about, uh, from evidence-based research, what it means. Uh, punishment and to exercise punishment. And at the other hand, we also have to deal with the alternatives on an evidence-based uh, 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 research. Because uh, there are people who think that alternatives, diversion measures, will solve all problems under the moon or under the sun. Uh, and this is not the case as well. So myths are long-lasting and most of the time, a nuisance. Therefore, I'm very happy that we have the third uh, uh, edition now. And I would like to, uh, to speak a little bit, I do not want to take too much of your time, but I would like to speak a little bit why this award is so important, especially for us, the we are, uh, who are working in the field of juvenile, justice in the broader sense, from police to institutionalization, and uh, from uh, punishment to, uh, to alternatives and di uh, diversion. Why do we, I think, all of us, really uh, need to have an award to get a prize? Because not only are judges for minor, just minor judges. I remember when I was uh, a young, very young judge, just coming from my final exam in my home country. And uh, when we were asked, uh, where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? And I said, I would like to start at the juvenile court. And uh, my mentor judge looked at me and said, but you have not been that bad in uh, legal issues. This is Juvenile, a juvenile judge. A juvenile judge is a judge who never ever is going to have a career. Don't you understand that? Now, I am a living example that it is possible to make a career being a juvenile judge. And even in an international field, 
to stay a juvenile judge at heart. I think that is something that we could see, but not only, as I said, judges of minors are minor judges. Not only researchers have to fight for getting money to be allowed to do their research for children. Why children? My goodness, do you not have something more important to look after? Uh, we do uh, have to deal with police who would like to be specialized, but there is no way to have specialized juvenile police. Because what do you think? We have real work to do, not to play around with stupid children. You just give them a few uh, beatings and then they are doing what you are telling them. So why do we have to, why do we need specialists? We have to deal with uh, the, uh, the non-possibility of getting specialized juvenile judges, specialized prosecutors, because once again, we are not enough. And uh, really, I mean, you have to do better work, no? You have to deal with white collar crime, with uh, uh, international, uh, international organized crime, with the real thing, and not with just the stupid idiots here, bastards that have to work when you tell them to work, no? I think every one of us, we would have, we have, have had the problems, uh, problems when we speak about things like child-friendly justice or a dignity of a child. Whenever I spoke in whatever country about the dignity of a child, people looked at me and said, are you crazy? What do you mean dignity of a child? He's wetting his pampers and I, that is a dignity. Do you really think so? And uh, wh what do you mean with child friendly? Why should I be child? Why should I be friendly to somebody who has broken the law? Can you tell me that? So child friendly is not something that people understand. And we, as we have to deal with people who do not understand we, I think sometimes we are really, really frustrated. We also do not get really specialized stuff in institutions because it's just children institutions. So the, the people get half of the price and they do not get any advancement. The, those who are dealing with adults, that's another issue because these are the really dangerous ones. No? So we do not get the good ones that we would need. And the, those who are there, they do not get the training they would need. Because it's just, once again, only children. Yeah. Uh, and when we then come back from missions, from a, difficult, from a difficult country, with difficult problems, and a difficult government, and we come home, then they say to us, ha, finally your holiday is over, no? Good, now go back to work. This is, I suppose, why we all need an award. And I do have a reason why we all need an award. Because we really want to make deprivation of liberty for children a last resort. We really want that. We want to have inclusion of those children. We want to have teamwork. And we want to have normal economics with those children who are now excluded. And there is one thing we say, and we always say it, we never, 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 ever give up. Thank you.